Hey, how's it going? Today I will be showing you how to pick up an infinite amount of credits using this glitch right here where you will be able to pick up 3,000 credits per dialogue. So that means once you accept it and then exit out, you will be able to interact once more and grab the credits again. This right here is quite easy to do, but there are a few requirements and I will be going over all of this in today's video. The first step, we need to head towards a planet and just kind of orbit around and loot a bunch of bodies until we're able to pick up the Mantis questline. This can also be given to you if you just loot a bunch of bodies. In general, it does not need to be in space specifically. Once you have looted up enough bodies and have found this slate that then reveals this location right here, you can open up the mission tab there and then find the Mantis questline travel straight towards the planet, land on it. There's gonna be a bunch of spacers nearby, you just wanna take them out. Then we want to go inside and we just wanna complete the rest of the steps to finish this quest. So this means pick up the Mantis armor, then head over, hit the switch so that you can then pick up the Razor Leaf. The Razor Leaf will then be lifted up and you can then exit outside and then go towards the Razor Leaf and interact with it. Make sure that you obviously lift up with it so that this is now your ship. Now that you're orbiting around, you can then choose a random spot in the same exact system. Or if you like, you can go somewhere else. It honestly does not matter. The main idea here is we want to just travel around to each planet until we're able to trigger a random NPC event, such as this one right here. The reason why we want this one specifically is because these spacers are going to invade or try to dock this merchant. So try to stop them, and potentially it's quite easy because once they do see you, they're gonna just skadoodle out. They're gonna say, nah, brah, we're done. And they're just gonna leave, and so that's fine. You're gonna talk to this dude, you're just gonna go through the dialogue, you do not need to charge him, but if you like, I, I guess you can. I decided not to, I just kinda went with the whole lore, but potentially, I guess. From what I'm understanding, the Mantis is just some upright person that just like stands up for everybody and does not want a reward, I I'm assuming. Anyways, just go through the dialogue here, and what will happen is once you're done with that, you then want to do the same exact steps as before. We're just gonna move around until we're able to come across a spacer. Note that it may take some time for you to find this guy, because really, it took me about 30 to 40 minutes for this dude just to pop up. Up. For you, it might pop up sooner than later. For me, it just took a lot longer. So once you do have this available and you see this guy, just talk to him. You can either wait for him to talk to you, but honestly, just go up to him and start the conversation. For example, right here, this fella had hailed to me instead of the opposite way around. What you will do is accept it. The spacer hyena number two, or it could be three or one, whichever. You will then see the dialogue options. We do not want to choose the third or the second one, you want to choose the very top. So choose the first one which says you picked the wrong target pal. He's going to be like wait oh, oh wait a minute. And there's going to be some cussing involved, I, I had to bleep some of this out to be honest. YouTube, you know how it is. Then from there, what's going to happen is he's going to give you 3000 credits. You can then accept it and there's going to be more dialogue options. Instead of continuing the whole dialogue, just exit out by clicking tab or B, whichever one it is for you if you're on console. Personally, I'm on PC, so I do not know what it exactly is. If it is B, then cool, but if it's not, then you probably know what it is. Talk to the fella again, and you're going to see the same exact dialogue option. By choosing this, you will then be rewarded 3,000 credits again. You can rinse and repeat this as much as you like. And if you have found this video helpful, make sure that you do give it a thumbs up like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. This will let me know if you enjoy the video or not. So with that being said, we're going to then continue on and talk about something a bit different here. So yesterday as I was roaming around going to different systems and orbiting different planets, I came across something quite interesting. There was a merchant out there that I met up with and he was able to talk to me and tell me about the Unity and Starborn and all that good stuff. But what was interesting about this is when I went through the whole dialogue and I decided to purchase some items, interesting enough, I actually ended up losing the legendaries that I had purchased. And I'll show you that exactly right here. I thought it was quite strange. I was like, man, is this another bug that has popped up? And it appears to be the situation. So you can see the merchant here in the distance. I'm going to talk to him. And then when I decided to purchase the legendaries, I then tried to revert or pretty much load my save back up. And that's when I lost the items. If this has happened to you, then yeah, it sucks. But if it has not, try to avoid it. 
I'm not too sure what you can do, possibly store these items somewhere. I'm, again, I'm not even sure if that's gonna fix the issue. So you can see right here, I'm purchasing the legendaries that I want, including the armor. And then here shortly, I'm gonna travel to a different planet and then try to just kind of load my save back up like I mentioned. You're going to see all the items that I purchased are now gone including the credits that I have wasted as well. It's completely gone, which really sucks because I wanted the armor. I wanted to use the blade and the other weapon, but now I'm just kind of screwed. There's nothing I can do. I could try to load my previous saves up, sure, and then try to hopefully, hopefully come across this fella again and then try to purchase some legendaries. But in the end, I just said, screw it. I'm not gonna waste a single second with this anymore. I decided to fly somewhere else because of course I was recording this video. So I wanted to get that done first and foremost, but in the end, this is what can happen to you if you do try to reload your save back up. This is one of many bugs that is in Starfield right now, and it, it's quite depressing as I mentioned before. I wonder if there's going to ever be more communication by Bethesda instead of this weird, awkward silence that they've been giving us. Even though there is no communication going on, I have been able to update you guys on when there might possibly be an update. So if you have not seen the previous video, I went in detail about the Steam DB files and how they were recently updated, including including the dev files and a few other things there that you will see on screen. Now, typically when you do see changes like this, it's a good sign that there is going to be an update arriving soon. You can check this for most games if you did not know, but pretty much it's a great indicator that there will be an update soon. I will say, I'm sure a lot of you are finding this quite annoying that we have to kind of look into this stuff in order to see when an update's coming instead of just kind of being like, hey, Bethesda, when are you gonna announce something? When are you gonna talk about this stuff? And it appears that they're just gonna to remain silent probably until the update comes out which is not the best option in my opinion I feel like the best thing to do is to talk to the players talk to us the ones that purchased the game and be like hey we messed up we did a few things that may have accidentally caused an error so we're gonna go back to it we're gonna fix everything up and you guys are going to have a great experience instead it's more like a middle finger and uh, they're telling you to go screw yourself uh, that's essentially what I'm getting out of this and sure that might be a bit dramatic to feel that way and to think that way but if you think if a company really did give a crap about you they would probably be like hey we messed up so here's our problem we're gonna fix it and so on I don't know maybe I'm being a bit too salty right there maybe I have too much soy sauce in my Panda Express like a week ago I don't know but what I do know is I'm interested in what you all think about everything that we've talked about in today's video the glitch the bugs or even the developers and how they have yet to respond back to us let me know what you think down below I will be commenting to those that have asked a question or whatnot within the first hour or two I, you know, as I typically do. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all in the next video.